What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Josh Different in the building. I'm back again with another video. Look, I got a whole list of videos on my sloppy ham right in. Whole list of videos. So we about to have them coming back to back to back to back. You already know. So, um, let's talk about Narcissus Friends, man. Like I said, I'm going to try not to do really no cuts with most of my videos because... I don't feel like editing. So, you know, I love editing, but I just want my videos to be raw. I want it to be real as far as how I carry myself and just as far as everything you feel what I'm saying. <laughs> so, let me stop. All right. Narcissist friends are weird and petty. They are weird and petty. I think that's what the title of the video is going to be. But they have weird and petty. I got so many story times when it comes to narcissist friends because, as you know, I'm a scapegoat. But besides that, I'm a chosen one. Chosen by God. I'm a chosen one. I'm a star seed. So, for some reason, these type of individuals draw to me draw to me i'm a targeted individual if you don't get it you don't understand it then don't even comment because i've had people comment you're not perfect you're not perfect oh, you're shut up like if you if it don't resonate with you keep it walking stop the talking anyway no let me stop all right so narcissist friends are petty and weird like why you gotta be weird like so listen i had cut my friend off right you know what i'm saying I had a habit of doing that because I noticed that my friends was on some weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not perfect, but at the same time, I don't be on that type time weird stuff. You feel what I'm saying? So, I cut one of my friends off or whatever, right? You know what I'm saying? I cut him off. Cut him off, right? So, you know what I'm saying? My good soul self, he comes back every single time. Every single time. Every single time. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I was going to kill myself. He'll say that all the time. Like, he's capping. He's lying. So, anyway, let me stop. So... I go hang out with this dude, right? And the energy between him was always weird. You know what I'm saying? It was always weird. I go hang out with this guy, right? I'm about to leave, but I'm tired. I'm super tired. We was out late. We was out late or whatever. So I said, I'm going to crash at his house or whatever, right? Crash at his house. My keys are in my pocket. Mind you, I wasn't self-aware at this time either. So I, I, I didn't think like, I didn't think like this. But so anyway. So my keys are in my pocket. He wakes me up to tell me my keys are missing. Why are you randomly looking for my keys, first of all? Second of all, my keys were in my pocket. Third of all, I just didn't think about it. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't think about it, so it was like... It was just confusing to me. I was just... I just went for a, a run or whatever, and I was thinking about it on my way back because, you know... Sometimes these situations, like, considering I'm the scapegoat and and, and, and and dealt with narcissistic abuse and stuff like that, I sometimes have these, these thoughts just running back in my head. Things just click. Once I start doing research on this situation, things just click. And sometimes I just be going about my day, you know what I'm saying, trying to live in the present moment. That's what I've been trying to do. And things will just click in the back of my mind. So that situation clicked when I was sleeping on his couch. And I woke up kind of like checking my pockets. He, he like, yeah, your keys missing. You can't find your keys. So that means he went in my pocket while I was asleep. I'm a heavy sleeper. He went in my pockets while I was asleep and then act like he couldn't find my keys. And then all of a sudden my keys popped up and he knew where they was at. So in my mind, I'm leaving. I'm gaslighting myself. I'm thinking like, nah, this, this dude ain't taking my keys. There's no way he took my keys. But he really took my keys out of my pocket and pretend like he knew where I was. I mean, just pretend like he didn't know where they was. Like... Weird and petty, mind you. This is the same guy who I had issues with in high school. So we met while having issues. And if you see this video, I don't care. He knows I don't like him. He 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 ended up at one of my last jobs and was like, "Yo, we should hang out. Can you unblock me?" That's what he said. Why would I unblock you, bro? Why would I unblock? I wanted to be like you, Mark. Mother, but you can't do that. <laughs> It'd be so funny if you see this video. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no. Nah, for real. I Listen, I, I, I always wonder that. Like, if a narcissist has seen the video, you know what I'm saying, of you talking about narcissists, would they watch it? Would they even click on it? Would they fear it? Because I remember when one of my other friends called him a narcissist at one point, and he, he didn't want to say the name. He was like, uh, he was like, so and so called me an N. What was that? He was like, he was like, what was that word again? And I was like, narcissist. It's like he was scared to say it. And I know all, all, all of them not like that because I know some narcissists who obviously would say it out their mouth. I don't know. I know a narcissist who is self-aware, 
but they pretend like they're not narcissists, call like everybody else a narcissist projecting. So, you know what I'm saying? They all different. You know what I'm saying? We got the coverts, we got the negligence, we got the we got the vulnerable narcissists, we got we got uh we got we got all of them. I can't remember the rest, but pretty sure it's four or more. But uh so many. Then you can dip into the borderlines and the blah 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 blah. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? But nah, so yeah, so he hit my keys or whatever. And that was like the weirdest thing. I'm trying to think. It is so many situations of uh, me dealing with narcissists where they're petty and weird. But that was basically the one I wanted to talk about. Um, but comment below and tell me any weird stories that you had dealing with narcissists, how they were petty and weird. You know how they rock. You know how they get down. Um because, like I said, as a chosen one, and just studying this all the time, I, I just study this all the time. So you can kind of recognize, even looking back, who was a narcissist in your life? Narcissist in your life? Who was a codependent? Who was just following society's way of being? Because to be honest, you know, we live in a narcissistic society. No, it's not on the level of complete narcissism. Excuse me. Or these personality personality disorders, because these people with personality disorders cause so many problems. Mother sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Uh, they cause you to have PTSD and you know so many different traumas. They cause you to trigger traumas that you already have, whatever the case may be. But um, yeah. So comment below. Let me know any crazy petty stuff that that narcissist in your life did. You know what I'm saying? And uh. Remember, like I said, stay safe. It's your boy Josh, different mind, body, and soul. Be careful, because these narcissists, they out here. These psychopaths, these sociopaths, they out here. They trying to bring us down. Stay chosen. Chosen by God. Chosen by yourself. <laughs>